Hi everyone, I'm here with a breaking news update that's quite literally earth-shattering. Mount Canlayon, located in the central Philippines, has erupted, sending massive plumes of ash up to 5 kilometers or over 3 miles into the sky. This is a significant geological event, especially considering the Philippines' position on the Pacific Ring of Fire, a hotbed for volcanic and seismic activity. The eruption, described as phreatic, means it was primarily steam-driven. According to Teresito Bacocol, the director of FIVOLX, which is the Philippine Seismology Agency, this type of eruption can happen suddenly and without clear precursors. Despite the dramatic scenes and the substantial height of the ash plumes, the alert level for Mount Canlan remains at its lowest. This is an important detail because it indicates that, for now, the experts do not see this as an escalation to more severe volcanic activity. Now even with these plumes towering into the sky, local authorities have not yet recommended evacuations for residents in the surrounding areas. They have, however, maintained a 4-kilometer danger zone around the base of the volcano. This cautious approach reflects a balance between alertness and not causing unnecessary panic among the local population. For those of you wondering about the impact of this eruption, ashfall can be quite disruptive. It can affect air quality, contaminate water supplies, and even cause power outages. While the immediate physical danger might be low, given the current alert level, it's always a good idea for residents in affected areas to stay informed and prepared. We will continue to monitor this situation closely and provide updates as new information becomes available. For now, residents near Mount Canlan should keep an eye on official advisories and maybe keep those face masks handy not just for the pandemic but also for any potential ashfall. Stay safe everyone and stay informed. That's all for this update. If you're in the region or have friends and family there, let us know your thoughts and any updates you might have in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news updates like this one. See you next time.